Okay, so this is this is a uh, Merc 110, 9.8 horsepower motor. It's uh, it starts up, but it doesn't uh, doesn't shoot any water out of the little the little uh, whizzer thing. So I am going to replace the water pump impeller. I looked online, and it seems like there's two different options of impellers, and it's all based on shaft size. So you got to take this out. Uh, down here there is a half inch nut and right here there is a 9 16 nut. I'm going to take those out. This should slide down giving me access to the shaft and the impeller. Oh, okay, let's see. This is just the top, and it's got some O-rings in here. They're pretty beat up. But underneath it is this little plate. Let's see if I can bring you in. Okay, yeah, it's all torn up. Um, I'm probably just going to replace the impeller because all the rest of the parts uh, don't look too bad. So, this shaft here is 0 .438, 0 .439. So, now I can go online and look which impeller is needed for 0.439 and I'm just going to pop this out of here. Okay, so you can also do this. You don't necessarily have to, like I was saying earlier, uh, measure the shaft size. You can do it based on serial number. I went on Amazon and it does it based on serial number. This is my serial number, 465513. Or 460 5513, and uh, it falls within the serial number range shown. So, uh, I went ahead and ordered it, it's about uh, eight dollar part. I'll put that in there, put it back together, and we should be good to go. Uh, one day shipping tomorrow should be here. So the next day, here we are. Uh, I got the new impeller and it has a groove in it right here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it also has a key. This key goes on the shaft right there. There's a flat spot that this has to sit in. So to hold that there, I'm gonna put a little dab of grease and press it against the shaft. And then when I get this down on it, uh, I will just have to line up that keyway with this keyway that will be held on there. So. I'm going to grab a little dab of grease and then I'm going to install this. Okay. A little dab of grease right here. Okay. It's right in the groove. So now I am going to put the impeller on. This spins clockwise. So all of the fins will need bent back whenever I go to put it on. I'm gonna put just a little bit of a little bit of the grease on this also. So I don't right there it's got two X's. Two over from that is where the uh, spline lines up. So I'll slide it down. There's two X's, so right here is where it'll line up.
Okay, now that that is on and it's tucked in, it's just a hair above this lip, but that'll keep it from, uh, that'll keep it from uh, losing any sort of suction. This has a tab that drops right down in to a specific spot right there. Uh, that's it's flat. And then this assembly here will come back down. Um, no, not right off. So this actually lines up with uh, that other tab that's sticking up. So I'm going to watch it go down in the tab. And it got close, but didn't go down in. There we go. And down in the tab, then this washer goes on top of it. If you buy a new assembly, uh, all, the whole assembly, it'll come with all of these new parts. Uh, this doesn't look very worn, so I'm going to reuse it. It's, a, it's only two bolts to take apart. So, you know, I understand you may say, you know, why take it apart and do this, but uh, everything looks okay. So if I have to do it again, I will. But uh, now the two, two washers and two bolts. Or two nuts. So that's really all there is to it. If you want to do a cheap, uh, cheap impeller replacement without the whole assembly. I think I have 10 bucks in this. It's probably a good idea to do it every two years. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you. If it does, please subscribe to my channel because that helps me out. Uh, I try to post a video a month uh, so I won't overwhelm you with, with videos. Thanks for watching. And here we are on Pimatuming Lake. It's a uh, maiden voyage for us. It is uh, the water pumps work and seems to be running well. So. Uh, that was a good fix, the impeller. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you. If it does, please subscribe to my channel.